understanding the causes of pancreatic disease. The incidence of pancreatic disease, including pancreatitis and pancreatic cancer, is on the rise, but currently, preventative measures and effective treatments are scarce. Dr. Stephen Pandel at the Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles is working to change that. Obesity, diabetes, alcohol abuse, and smoking are risk factors for pancreatitis and the development of pancreatic cancer. With colleagues at Cedar sinai Medical Center, the University of California, and Kaiser, Dr. Pandel is examining the processes through which diet-induced obesity and pancreatitis lead to pancreatic cancer. Wild-type mice, those with standard genetic material, and KC mice with a pancreas-specific oncogenic mutation in their KRAS gene are fed a high-fat and high-calorie diet so that they develop diet-induced obesity and marked acceleration of pancreatic cancer. Wild-type mice exhibit the expected weight gain and insulin resistance but do not develop cancer. The team focuses on the role of cells in the microenvironment of the pancreas, known as pancreatic stellate cells, PASCs. These cells mediate the development of fibrosis and inflammation that occurs in pancreatic cancer and interact with early pancreatic cancer cells to facilitate the progression and metastasis of the cancer. They found that numerous signals are a crucial element in activating the pro-cancer effects of PASCs. These include extracellular signals, such as the cytokines interleukin-4 and interleukin-13, and the hormones insulin and insulin-like growth factor 1. Intracellular signals are also needed, transcription factors like STAT3 and enzymes like mTOR slash AKT. By regulating the immune system to favor the tumor, preventing apoptosis, cell death, and promoting tumor cell growth, these signals allow PASCs to continue supporting tumor progression. In another study, the team analyzed large databases of people who had experienced pancreatic adenocarcinoma, and specifically, patients who received simvastatin therapy. Simvastatin is a member of a group of drugs that lower cholesterol called statins. It can be prescribed to prevent cardiovascular issues. Patients in this retrospective analysis showed better disease-free survival rates after tumor resection if they took simvastatin. Based on these findings, Dr. Pandel and his team hypothesized that obesity produces unique signals in the microenvironment of developing pancreatic cancer, including observable alterations in the PASCs. The result is the production of signals that promote rapid growth and resistance in cancer cells and a shift in the immune response to a pro-tumor state. In other words, obesity creates a much more favorable environment for cancer cells to survive and spread. Dr. Pandel now plans to study the effects of eliminating activated PASCs at various stages of pancreatic adenocarcinoma development in KC mice who will be fed normal and high obesity inducing diets. He will also continue work to uncover how different cell types talk to each other within the tumor microenvironment to provide insight into the role of PASCs in tumor development. Future work also aims to determine which pathways obesity impacts to promote cancer formation through PASCs. Further study of signals, such as interleukin-4, and how their pathways respond to obesity will shed light on the processes leading to the activation of PASCs involved in cancer. The findings from these studies are intended to develop safe treatments to prevent pancreatic cancer development in patients at high risk.